A photography exhibition in Lagos, the Commercial Nerve Center of Nigeria, to mark the World Photography Day, an annual worldwide celebration of the art, craft, science, and history of photography, called the Photography Art and Design Exhibition, paid. This three-day exhibition is providing a platform for creatives in the art world to showcase their works. The major reason why we're having this is to celebrate photographers and other creatives visual artists in general. The exhibition also served as a medium for some of these creatives to be mentored in master classes led by some veteran Nigerian photographers. How well known, how well exposed is your work? When you put all those indices, you say this is where I am. So you now say, I now want to go to point B. Abi? Otherwise you will not have a location you are going to. So how do you do that? you find the most interesting photographers that you admire their work. Look at their portfolio and compare it to your own. If your own does not meet up, it means you have to go to another destination. Some of the creatives stress on the importance of using art to tell the authentic African story. We must appreciate our cultural heritage. We must appreciate where we're coming from. We must tell a story. We must appreciate our history. And we must feel a sense of belonging. Our children in the diaspora must feel a sense of belonging. Remember the uh, first act 77? It was rich. It brought almost all the cultural activities all over Africa and in the diaspora to Nigeria. And it was widely celebrated. The amazing thing about art is whether you're a child or an adult, it's your interpretation of what you see around you and what life is. Um, so whether it's your story or you're sharing someone else's story, that's what art is for. A picture, they say, is worth more than a thousand words. Here in Lagos, the Photography, Art and Design Exhibition has played its part of activities to mark this year's World Photography Day. On this day, photographers across Nigeria and the rest of the world have been encouraged to share photos that document their world. David Taylor reporting for African News.